Hey, this is my City Skylines video. Uh, I want to show off my industry. I've got all these five-star industries. It's been, it's been like six years since I made a video about City Skylines, but I've got one that a lot of people have viewed, and it was how to make money. Well, that's pretty outdated, but some of those concepts still exist in my cities today. Um, so let me first of all show you just going to show you around, just show you some of the things that I do and some of the things that I find work well for me. Um, so zoning, you can see we've got a little downtown core happening here. Uh, we've got light residential, medium residential, and you can see the commercial zones laced all throughout the, uh, the city. Industrial zoning, I have very little actual industrial zoning. I've got these little farms here. And I've got some green industry over here. Now this, all, all these little buildings are level three. Most of them are level three. And so this is, this is what Industry 4.0 looks like. I've got the Industries expansion, by the way, and the Green Cities expansion and Sunset Harbor. So I've got all the, all the things for this game. Um, but look at my pollution. Let's start with pollution. This is my pollution. This is an industrial park. This produces as much as as any industrial park, any dirty industrial park you build to start the game. And there's no pollution. There is some pollution, however, over here. There's garbage. What can you do about garbage? This is my metals ore industry. This is my oil industry. And this is my pulp and paper. And there's a lot of unique factories dotted in here too. Now I want to show you my uh, my my industry budget. So out here on my budget screen, I've got industry areas and fishing industry, which I don't have here, are maxed out. And also, what I've got along here, is all of the unique factories, except for one, except for shipbuilding. So I've, I've built all of, all of these factories. Let's take the petroleum refinery as an example are using industries, so are, are using resources from industry. So I have to keep the resource chain going. And the way that I've done that, I built my own map and I built all the industries along this one main road and it parallels the highway. So it gets a little bit crowded in this area here coming out of this cargo train station. Uh, but other than that, the traffic flows pretty smoothly. And all of these unique industries along here are getting the resources they need to produce. And it's unique industries that really produce a lot of money. For example, this one, material cost 5000 production value 15000 uh, you know, Cost 4000 12000 value cost 2,000, 12,000 value, and it's just like this with all these unique factories. And what that's doing is that's funding city improvements. You can see I've got a big bank build up. Um, it's, cash flow still varies, uh, but I've got, I'm starting to get one of the things that I think is the coolest thing you can do in this game, but it costs so much money, is universal education the free lunch and the student health care on your campuses. I don't have a university yet. My city's only seven tiles large. I'll probably make another video when the city gets to be nine tiles and gets filled up. And then I've got the mod where I can fill it out to 25 tiles, but that's still a long ways off. Um, so yeah, so I've got universal education and it's funded by all these industries here. now. Eventually you run out of resources in the ground for ore and oil. So what I get my industry up to level five as quickly as possible. And then I start importing the raw materials. So I'm importing ore here and I'm importing oil here. It's the only way to do it. There's still some in the ground. 
but it's dirty and it's messy and I really don't feel like digging it up. Could make a few more bucks probably if I was digging up the oil reserves, but not that interested in it. And then over here I've got my green industry. Um, trees don't pollute, so I built lots of those for resources. Paper factories really pollute. That's I don't like those, they're dirty. And here's all my farms. Uh, green cities, so I use the solar updraft towers for power. Another really cool thing about this city is the cyclists. If we go down to a busy intersection along a bike lane road, it's middle of the night, so there might not be quite as many cyclists. all those cyclists. Those are all cars that are off the road. And they're everywhere. There's tons of them. They're just pouring. Imagine one, two, three, four, five, there's 15 in this group. Imagine those were all cars. The city road infrastructure couldn't sustain them. But because they're cyclists, and I've got I encourage biking and I ban biking on sidewalks because that's dangerous. And high tech housing is another one. You can't go wrong with high tech housing. As soon as you put it on, you lose a little bit of cash at first, but then you start to really make a lot of money. Let's see, our industry is in a bit of a downswing, but I promise you that I will start making cash here soon and some of these problems will start going away. Let's just speed this up until I. Profit again. And more bike lanes. Go riding home from work at night time. So, another thing that I was talking about earlier was the laced uh, roads with commercial zones. So this is how I build a grid square. I've got a through road. I've got the boundary roads, which I make as four and six lanes. And then I build these, they're not really small cul-de-sacs, but there's the no through roads. And these don't go out. So now coming out of this road, the commuter has the option of going down here, hopping on one of these bike lanes. Look, this bike lane is happening. Imagine those were cars. All those lights. Or they have the option of going up to this main road here. This intersection gets a little jammed up sometimes, but the highway kind of circles around the city. So those are some design tips. Um, health, we got one hospital and a bunch of clinics. Uh, education is education is a bit funny in this city because I actually have lots of young people who are either too young for college or getting educated in college now. Um, generally, I don't put recreational use as a as a uh, policy until after the education reaches around fifty percent. Um, highly educated. I don't use recreational use until until everybody's got their basic education first. Um, and yeah, everything else, healthcare. These buildings are really good. There's the elder care. Uh, that helps a lot. And then there's the child care. You can see my city's growing quite quickly and also I'm in positive cash flow again. Uh, so not a lot of problems in my industry area. Looks like I need water. that 
that, so I use clean water. Um, these are from the Green Cities expansion. Uh, yeah, see all these unique factories are just pumping it out right now. Maximum capacity to 150%. And uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a look at my city. Um, hope you liked it. Leave a comment. Uh, say hi, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you maybe in another video in six years.